Hi, hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Dila and today I'm going to be doing my, finally, my um, introduction for my, for the 50 Shades of Purple project plan. Wow, a mouthful. This project was created by Amanda, Jessica and Cece. I'll have their details linked down below. This is actually a fantastic ladies group collab and I'll have their Facebook page also in the description box. So this is like a year long project. It's from the 15th of April, 2021 to April 15th of 2022. And um, I'm a month late because I've recorded this twice and both times I had issues. The first time was audio, the second time I was wearing lip gloss. And like, it was just kind of like, you know when like you sometimes wear a bit too much gloss and it just started to like run and I was like, mm -hmm you know that's got to be deleted right now so that's what happens hopefully third time lucky i'm really hoping i don't have any issues with the audio fingers crossed um but yeah i'm really excited to finally join this project i first saw a beauty career made me do it like on her channel um she was in it and i thought wow this is actually a really fun project so basically you can have anything that's purple it can be the packaging or the product itself and it can like be anything like skincare hair care makeup nail polishes like whatever it is like you can throw it in here and i thought that's actually a really good way to like get use of all my like as many 50 no as many purple products that i have especially makeup um, also it is really windy outside so if you hear the wind I'm sorry and yes I have a new setup it won't exactly stay like this my basically what happened was I think last week I want to say I ended up changing my entire room layout because I hated the way it was before like I genuinely hated it so much so I changed it all around and now my desk is here and my bed is here so yeah I know it's not the most aesthetically pleasing at the minute, but I'm gonna work on it. But anyway, let's get on with the project. So majority, everything that isn't like makeup, the goal is gonna be to use up completely. I don't want these things laying around in my stash anymore because I honestly have too much stuff and I need some of it to just go. Um, yeah, and I generally don't wanna like, I don't wanna carry mess around anymore. I just need things to go like when you see my July inventory you will know what I mean when I say I have too much stuff guys I have too much stuff Um, I'm not really gonna do anything crazy like the goal isn't to like declutter anything and it become a minimalist it's just to pan things as I as I go and to stop input to like try to stop impossibly buying basically okay I'm going on a tangent and I'm not gonna have space to like edit this video. So moving on to the actual project. Um, oh boy. So the first two products that I wanna use up are these sleeping mists. They are both by My Aroma um, and the packaging is purple. I've half, like, I've used this halfway up, but I really enjoy this and I have the backup of it. So the goal is to finish this one up first and then move on to this one. I always keep this on my bedside table, which is literally just behind me. Um, so yeah, I've not really been using it recently, but I like I really enjoyed using this bef bef <laughs> English. What the hell? Um, I did really enjoy using this, so the goal is to kind of actually incorporate it, because you know, anxiety is really kicking me in the backside recently, so that's the plan. Um, then I have a CBD oil by Healist, and the packaging is purple, so I threw it in here. So this is supposed to help you fall asleep, stay awake, wake up fresh. I don't know. I've never tried something like this before, um, but I thought I'd give it a go. There's literally only five mil in here, um, and I got this in like a goodie bag like a while ago, so I thought, you know, why not? And also, I struggled to sleep, so maybe this can work for me, and it could be really useful. So there's that. Um, I have a cleansing balm by Number Seven. This is their Radiant Results Nourishing Cleansing Balm. Uh, wow, the sun is bright today. Okay. So, um, as I was saying before the sun just, yeah, bad timing to actually film. Um, then I have the number seven nourishing cleansing balm. Basically the packaging is purple, so I threw it in here, but I'm not gonna use it for a couple of months because I'm currently 
I've currently got cleansing balm in progress. I'm using it up. I've got like just over halfway done. So as soon as that one's done, I'm going to throw this in there. Um, God. Okay, then I have this Glow Recipe Cleanse, um, Blueberry Bounce General Cleanser. The packaging of this is actually purple, like the bottle of it. Um, I've not, it's still like full size one and this is like what 160 ml i've used up a mini and i've really enjoyed it because it was quite gentle on my skin and i do like to use like a more gentle cleanser in the mornings don't know why i just enjoy it um so i've currently got like a full size one in the bathroom that's just over halfway done and as soon as that one's finished i'm going to throw that like this one in there um but i do have a mini by manon and goetz it's the grapefruit free the well, the grapefruit face cleanser in like it's a 10 ml bottle um so honestly not much but because it's so small i put this in there because of the packaging the packaging was purple um but i'm going to throw this in like the bathroom tonight and i use this like interchangeably with the one i'm currently using and then when this is done we we'll back onto that one like twice a day i have two bath salts to use up one they're both by bubble tea and both like purple packaging and this is like lavender and this is oh gray and i got these both in my look fantastic beauty box um yeah they've just been hanging around since like last year like i think i got them maybe around july time like basically i got them i got one a month before and then the other one like a month later or something um one was like in a look fantastic box the other one was in glossy box but the goal is to just get them out of my collection i don't really use things like these because the bathtub isn't really amazing um it's not really like so then i have this by aussie um and this is a three minute miracle color deep treatment i really like this this is my actually this is the second bottle i have of it and my auntie told me about this um if your hair like if you dyed your hair and it's getting kind of a little bit dull use this it's a three minute like treatment literally is between your shampoo and conditioner that you use it in and i have found that it does actually make your color like pop a little bit and i use it like once a week i've actually used up just a little bit over where i've marked it so i'm hoping that by like next month this can be gone fingers crossed i do actually really like this product then i have this molten brown yeah juniper jazz bath and shower gel uh i believe this is yeah this is a 300 ml bottle and basically it's got like a purpley shift inside of it um i'm not going to reach for this for a few months because i have a couple of minis i want to use up first just to like help my july inventories get down a little bit and as soon as that is done i'm going to throw this in the shower also i wouldn't like minis are faster to get through and like if i can reduce how much stuff i have that'll be perfect that's why this is going to be kind of put in the back to the side for a little bit so i can use this up then i have this hairspray by percy and reed it's their reassuringly firm session hold hairspray i have used some of this up before and the packaging is like purple on here um i use it because when i have my hair up in a ponytail or like if i've braided my hair i get a lot of like baby hairs just flying around and they don't like sit so i've used this and i will say it does actually hold it down so um yeah i got this in like i think a goodie bag i'm not gonna lie um, I will say I have enjoyed it so far, but this is another product which I think is going to take me quite some time to use. I'm okay with that, but like as long as it's getting used, we good. Next up, I have two deodorants. One's by Nivea, the and the Pearl and Beauty antiperspirant, and there's one by Mitchum, and this is the Shower Fresh, and it's got like purple packaging on it. The goal is to use these both up. They both have some kind of usage on it. This one I think is like halfway done. This one I've used this maybe three four times the goal is to just use them up like that's it i'm not going to weigh anything because i don't have anything that can give me like an exact figure for like a point oh um so for that reason i'm not going to weigh anything but the goal is to just use them up then i have this mask by elemis and it's their peptide for thousand flower mask um the packaging on it is actually purple i'm not gonna lie yet elemis is pricey it's like bougie um, and I got this when they were doing like a sale, I think. And then if you bought two products, I think it was like if you spent what, 60 pounds or something, you were to get like this goodie bag for like, that was worth 80 pounds. And then you also got like a free gift with purchase, something like that. 
So I got this, but yeah, and I want to get used out of it because I haven't used it in a while. I, haven't, I mean, I haven't like done masks in a while and I this is now in my collection for like, I want to say, I think it's been a year. So I want to like get used out of this. So that's why it's in this project. Um, is that everything? No. Then I have this 111 Skin um, Y Theorem Day Cream. There's like 50 ml in here. I think I could use it up um, if I try to in this month. The, the packaging is purple. Um, I'm going to try to get this done up by next update. This It Cosmetics um, Skin Transforming Pillow Cream. And this, the packaging on here is actually purple. I'm going to try to use it up by next update. So let's see. Then I have this perfume by Vera Wang and it's the princess one. I've marked it already. This is actually the 100ml one. I have previously used up a 50ml one of this, I believe. Yeah, the smell of this is quite nice. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I got this and it was like discounted quite a bit, but it's a purple, so I threw it in here. Um, I don't know if it's quite ambitious of me to want to completely pile this up. I don't know if that's possible. But the goal is going to be to at least use up half of this. Like I want half of this done, but ideally I'd want the entire perfume done. I have this Shani Darden um, Retinol. The packaging of this is actually purple and there's like a line on it that is like purple. I've not tried Retinol yet and I think because it's like a mini tester, this would be quite a good way to let me know if I'm ready to use Retinol or not. I'm not going to I'm quite scared to use it, but yeah i've thrown this in there because of that purple packaging um if you're using retinol let me know your experience down below i'd be really interested i have this drunk elephant um fermented sake spray what do i do with this okay um there's not really much i think in here it's only 15 ml um but the packaging itself is purple so the goal is just to use it up and i got this again like a goodie bag a lot of stuff i do get is in goodie bags from like Hot Beauty or like Look Fantastic or Feel Unique. Then I have four nail polishes oh, that I want to try to get some more use out of. So there's one by Sally Hansen in the shade 414 Cherry Cherry Bang Bang. Um, I've not actually used this up at all, I think. Maybe, maybe just once. The goal is to use this or at least try to use it 10 times. And I don't know if that is quite ambitious of me to have said but we shall see we shall see um yeah then i have this nail polish by maybelline in the color show in the shade blush berry and i've honestly gotten so much use out of this i love the shade this is like a purpley like a dark purpley red to me that's why i've kind of thrown it in here um, I've actually marked how much I have. Now the goal is to either use this five times or until it dries out, like until I can't get any more product out of it. Cause I know I've actually used up a lot of it and yeah, that's just the goal. Then I have this one by Revolution. This is the Supernova shade. It's like the glittery ones that they recently released. It's quite nice, I'm not gonna lie. And the goal is for this one to use it five times and then i have this one by essie and i'm so hungry right now i cannot wait for dinner um this one is in the shade salt water happy this to me is a purple undertoned blue that's why i've thrown it in here um and the goal for this one i'm gonna say is 10 times too ambitious I'm gonna say 10 times. I might regret it later, but I'm gonna say 10 times. So fingers crossed, I can actually get that done. Okay, I think that was everything that is like non-makeup. Um, let's move on to makeup. Okay, so where do I begin? Right, I have an Urban Decay setting spray, um, the all-nighter. So as you all know, it's a cult classic, but I've heard a lot of people say it's not their favorite. So I bought a mini sample rather than buying the full size one just in case I didn't like it. Um, I have actually gotten some use out of it. I will say I have enjoyed using it. Um, 
but yeah like I don't think I've used it enough to have like a full like idea of it so yeah but I have really enjoyed it packaging's purple so you know um, the goal is to use it up completely then I have this Laura Mercier primer it's their pure canvas primer this is like 10 mil I got this in like as a sample in like I want to say Harper's Bazaar Beauty Box I got last year um, I've marked how much is actually in the pro like the bottle I've not used it since I've gotten it so yeah the plan is to use this up completely I can't wait I have so many primers when you see my makeup inventory you will understand how yeah so I can't wait to actually use this up I don't know if I can do it by next update but maybe two months time and it should be gone um okay so I have some blushes that I threw in here as well this is by Revolution and it's the shade Violet Love this blush looked purple to me so I threw it in here and the goal is to use it 40 times I don't know if that's quite ambitious of me considering and the reason I say that is because I don't actually wear makeup that often Um, yeah then I've got this makeup obsession mad about mauve blush palette and because the packaging is purple the goal is going to be to use the blushes 40 times so I'm going to try to use each blush 10 times if I can um the first one is Colourpop Amour um I think this is one of the newer ones it came out I want to say this year I think I think um that's just what it looks like and the goal is to use this palette 10 times like all together um then I have this one by Colourpop again and it's the first flutter by one and it's purple packaging so the goal is to just reach for this palette 10 times then I have this one by Tarte and it's the love trust a fairy dust palette I think this one's discontinued I can't find it the so last time I went on the website I could not find this palette so I'm assuming it is discontinued but the good thing about this is that it's a pretty neutral like palette inside so I shouldn't have too much trouble with like coming up with like an eye look but yeah the goal for this is do you know what? just for the fact that this is a very neutral palette the goal for this is going to be to use it 25 times 25 times future me is going to hate myself but 25 times um, then I have this Makeup Obsessions Sweet Like Handy um, Eyeshadow Palette and its packaging is purple but also pretty much every shade in here is also purple so the goal is to just you reach for this palette 10 times then I have another Colourpop palette um, in the trance, in a trance um, and because the packaging is purple oh my god I hate opening some of these the goal is to use this palette as a whole 10 times I hope you can see that can you see that okay yeah wow um I think this is a really good shade like not shade yeah shades to use or to wear like now because they're very like spring summery so I'm going to try to reach for this 10 times and then I have two more palettes one's by Natasha Denona and it's got purple shades in here the goal is going to be to use it 10 times the palette in general because you can't really create a look without using a purple shade in there and there's three so yeah and then I have one by Ofra and I bought this from a friend this is their signature palette and the goal again oh my god I hate opening some of these is to use it um 10 times and this is a purpley palette and um but I'm not gonna be able to create a look without using the purple so that's why I've just put like a general uh usage goal on this palette and for me to just use it 10 times okay moving on to the highlighters I decided to throw the four in here and the goal is to use them all four times and they're actually the packaging of all of these is purple so the first one is the one by Kaleidos and it's the um, Space Age Star Surfer one and that is just what it looks like 
I've heard so much positive about like Kaleido's highlighters and stuff and just the products in general so I'm really looking forward to actually trying it out. Um, then I have three by Becca and again the goal is to just use it 10 times each. I always like find it so hard to open up the like um, stuff. This is the Becca Pure Pearl in the shade no what? This is their Luster Glow Powder in the shade Pearl Glow and I got this on from TK Maxx and that's just what it looks like. Can you just even see that? I hope you can see that. This one is Lilac Geode, this one is Sea Pop and that's just what they look like. I hope you can see that. Um, yeah. These are minis. I might even try to pan these next year because they're quite small. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I think it'll be kind of fun. So, yeah. Okay. Then I have a NYX um, eyeliner, and this is basically purple eyeliner. <laughs> I don't like this product um, because I have really watery eyes, and this literally lasts maybe 10 minutes, if that, on my eyes. So, for that reason, uh, my goal is going to be to try to use up this entire eyeliner by next year and also it'll mean that I have one less eyeliner so that's the goal to look forward to um, yeah I'm just going to just try to just pan it completely I've already marked this on my notepad and I'm really looking forward to getting use out of this <laughs> okay I think the rest of the products are all lip products no, I forgot something. Then I have this one, this pigment paint by the Melt and Beorges collection. And I want to use this up like five times. Um, that's just what it looks like. I'm not using anything from that collection since I've got it because I just wanted to preserve it. But really and truly I should get some use out of it. So the goal is to use it five times. And then I have, these are lip products from them. I can't tell if they're liquid lipsticks or just like lip glosses or like what um, but one's called Weirder and Weirder and then it's Showtime and they're both like one's a deeper purple one's a lighter purple and the goal is to use these both five times each um, yeah then I have this one by Morphe in the shade Mood and the goal is to use this ten times I feel like this is much better shade to use in the autumn time so this one might not get any use until then so let's see then i have this one by kaleidos and it's the lip tonic in the shade immersion but that's just what it looks like i'm really looking forward to trying this out then i have this one by the splash and this is their like classic horror collection in the shade mina and i really like this like just the, the way the packaging is and then also the shade of it. I really can't wait to use it. Then I have this Becca. Oh, the goal for those are also 10 times each. Wow, my throat is dry. Then I have this one by Becca and it's the Hydrolite Lip Balm. To me, this is like a lip balm and this is in the shade Mist. The reason that this is in here is because of the packaging because it's got like a bit of a purpley shift in it. And the actual product inside is blue honestly the the rate i'm going through lip balms recently is insane and if i start using this from today i will probably get this done in about two weeks so i'm hoping that by next update i can actually finish this that'll be great um then i have this elf lip crayon in the shade t rose i'm just going to it all out that's how much product is in here i have actually marked this on my notepad um the goal is going to be to just use up completely i have too many lip products if i'm honest and they're just gonna if i don't use it they're gonna get expired um but because it's purple i threw this in here the goal is going to be to just use it up completely like i just want it gone for my collection i don't have anything against the product because i've not actually used it yet so i don't have any like thoughts on it but because i have too many 
lip products in my collection which you will see when I upload my inventory yeah that's what I'm gonna say on it it's a bit much okay I think that's yeah the last three lip products I have are the Becca and Barbie Ferreira like collection and because the packaging is purple I've thrown it in here and the shades are foiled sparkle and what facet and that's just what they look like I hope you can I hope that's picking up that's what they look like because these are mini lip glosses I'm gonna just try to use them up completely I will probably struggle with the purple one a little bit but I think this one might look good like paired up with some of the liquid lipsticks I have in here but yeah that's all my products which I'm going to try to hit pan on or to use up completely in this project I'm honestly really excited to finally start um, yeah all the information like I said earlier will be in the description box everyone the creators will also be in my description box there's I think there might be a playlist I'm not sure but there is a sign up form and this is a year long project everything you need to know is going to be down below anyone mentioned in the video will also be down below um, yeah that is all for me today I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys like stick around for the updates for this product because honestly I think that this is a really good fun project idea um yeah that's all from me today and I'll catch you next time